Oh, Erlangen, but Prague are so close now. Coburg have nearly completed their drive change, but all eyes are on Prague to see if they can get the car restarted. And the driver's getting out of the Prague car. They were half a lap from home. Erlangen come past. But so unlucky for Prague. We saw the same thing happen to Stuttgart last year. And uh, when you're so close, they did a brilliant job though, well done Prague. And uh, Coburg have restarted, so they're going to be rejoining now. So we've just got two cars to complete. Coburg just have a quick stall. As Erlangen come through. go Coburg. So just the two cars now. Erlangen still with uh, nine laps to complete. Should be eight laps to go now for them. And Coburg. Come through. They cross the line now. Second driver putting it pushing uh, pretty hard for Coburg. 62.503 on the first lap. This time turns time of 64.587. Right, I'm going to be interested to see what time Coburg can turn out because they, uh, they're they looking quick. And uh, they cross the line, 63.035.
Coburg pushing pretty hard. 62, 605. Pass line for Coburg as they go into the slalom. So still only eight teams have managed to complete endurance this morning. So very low number. We make that five laps to go for them now. Coburg looking good. Oh. Clip two cones. So uh, the teams that are coming out after the break already lining up. Got uh, University of Birmingham sat ready and waiting as a UASR. And also the uh, Karlsruhe car. So they're all ready to go. I think had a quick spin down at the bottom there. Let's go See what the lap time is. Car 98. 69, yeah. I think they had a, a very quick spin. Messy gear change for Coburg, but they're still going well. Left picking up the pace, 61.9 last time by, this time through, 62.5. 